I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Hi, I'm Harry Bink. I'm 23 years old and I live on the Gold Coast, Australia. <laughs> So the whole point of my Moto9 segment, uh, I really wanted to show off my lifestyle. Um, I never really knew how to show it off other than pro posting a photo here and there on the Instagram or social media. And to have the opportunity to have my Moto9 part, it was really good to be able to show off what we get up to. <laughs> Uh, my best mate that I grew up with at high school, Marcus Skin. He ventured off into the snow industry filming and uh, he's made a career out of that and I called him up and said, dude, Moto9 want to film a part with us. He booked a flight the next week and he came up and we started it by going to the beach at 4.30 a.m. in the morning and uh, we took our cafe races down there. They're just our road registerable bikes that you're not supposed to take off road or anything like that. A good mate of mine, Matty Mac, it was his bright idea to take him on the beach and do some skids and surf and just do all this crazy stuff. And I looked at him and I was like, dude, I'm not taking my brand new cafe racer on the beach where it's going to get rusted and destroyed. And within one hour of being on the beach, we destroyed a lot of gear, whether it was my cafe racer as well as Marcus's camera gear. He had a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment and I covered him head to toe in sand and it filled up his brand new red camera full of sand and for a couple of hours we thought that we destroyed the thing. We had to take it to camera shops, trying to blow it all out with an air compressor and uh, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a pretty gnarly segment um, as far as damaging equipment goes, but I feel like it was worth it. We just went on the beach, thrashed our cafe races, had so much fun. We went to Iron Resin for brekkie and we were just talking and we're like, let's take these things to the motocross track. <laughs> so we literally just drove straight from breakfast out to Queensland Motor Park. Next minute we're jumping the biggest jumps on the motocross track, side by side with Todd Waters and it was just like, not planned one bit and it was just such a different type of scene. So on Nitro Circus Tour, my biggest trick is a rock solid backflip. Uh, we were all making jokes, imagine doing a rock solid front flip. Never thought it'd be possible. And uh, Nitro World Games is coming up. We thought uh, we'd see if this trick is possible. We've been in the pit trying it flat out for four months now. And uh, we've seen trying to see if it's possible. After every jump, it takes me almost 15 minutes to fluff the pit, sweating in the Gold Coast heat, drilling myself jump after jump into the frame pit. It's killing me, but uh, I'm going to work hard and see if this front flip rock solid is possible and hopefully pull it off at 2017 Nitro World Games. The last couple times we've been out here, we've seen a big python in here. I think it's been the same one and uh, I think he's coming into hibernating season. But, uh, this is his home, we're sharing homes. Grab, let go. Reef yourself back on. To be able to end my Moto9 part at Nitro World Games, the Nitro World Games was my dream stage, just like, I, when that started, I just, with all the new ramps, the progression ramps, progression the sport so much. And to be able to train my butt off all year and then win it, and to be able to end my Moto9 scene with that, Nitro Circus giving this awesome footage, to be able to mix it with my home lifestyle and. This Moto 9 part really represents me and my life and I'm really proud of it.